Hey guys, so I thought we would do some upcycling clothing sewing videos. We'll do one. If you want to see more, let me know. So fun fact about me, I started my creative journey sewing uh, with my Nana and I wanted to learn how to do crochet edging around her hand that she did around her handkerchiefs, but she said first I needed to learn how to hem the piece of cotton and um, not by machine, by hand. <laughs> My hand sewing is not as good as hers was. Anyway, um, I still sew. I also wanted to make, bar I wanted new Barbie clothes and we couldn't afford them. So my mother said, you're gonna need to learn to sew. I still sew. I used to work for Chuck E. Cheese back in the day making the fabric for the robotic characters. If you don't know what that is, Google it. <laughs> um, anyway, I haven't done this much sewing, garment sewing in a really long time, um, but I am making a lot of clothing for myself. In fact, fun fact, this outfit I have on today is one that I made. This is, and this is a pattern I drafted. Um, and my pants, let's see. They look like a skirt, but they're pants. Anyway, I have this blouse. I thrifted it. I think it was like $6 or $7. It was brand new, never worn. This mannequin's about my size, but it's this blouse is too big for me. So we're gonna alter it a little bit. I have an idea for a couple of easy changes. So we'll see what we can come up with. The first thing I'm noticing that I need to do is raise her up a little bit, because I'm not that short. So let's do that first. And I think that I want to do something simple, like put some pleats, like two on each side in the front and a couple in the back. I think I want to take out the sleeves and move in <clears throat> the shoulder just a little bit, like up to here. Take the sleeves out and redo them so there's something that's more fluttery and more like a cap sleeve. And I think take the collar off. So, yeah. First thing we need to do is do some seam ripping. Not my favorite thing, but. So, if you don't know what a seam ripper is, it's this little thing. It helps you deconstruct sewing that you've done that needs to come out because you've done it wrong because yeah anyway you get the idea a lot of times when i'm deconstructing garments i don't bother seam ripping them because i'll just cut them it's quicker it's easier but i do reuse what i can so if the garment's already hemmed i usually try to reuse that hemline if it already has buttons on it and buttonholes i reuse the buttonholes you get the idea right so I'm just trying to alter it to make it something more interesting and that fits me a little better for inexpensive because have you all seen the price of fabric or clothing lately? Oh my God. Yeah, so first thing we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna take the sleeves out. So I don't have a whole bunch of fabric here, but I'm gonna try not to squint at what I'm doing. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna play some YouTube. And I'm gonna unpick this. I'll be right back. That took a little bit. Now I'm remembering why I just cut the seams and I don't seam rip. But we got it done. So, this is what we have now. Now the inspiration images I saw had v-neck um, neckline, but I don't really want to recut and rebind the neckline. So I just took the collar off, I left the neckband, and I'm thinking that'll work and I'll just restitch this. Again though, I think we need to bring the shoulders in a bit and recut the armholes. How 
does that look? See, that already looks better. Also, let me grab some clips. So I use pins, but I also use these. These. These are easy. Okay, so then if we put some pleats around the waist. Yeah, that gives it a cute shape. Maybe one more in the back. Yeah, that's already cuter. And if we want to, okay, this is normally what I do. <laughs> What's easier? And if I wanted to, we could re-add this. Oops. Yeah. Something like that. I would gather it. I wouldn't just be messy about it like that. Do we like it with sleeve? Cap without the sleeve cap. I don't know, but I'm thinking I need to get this done first. So, the pleats. So I'm gonna take it off the mannequin. I'm gonna take it over to the sewing table. I'm gonna measure it all out. This is right about where it needs to be on my waist. The mannequin is my measurements. So we need to even all that out and do some pinning and some sewing and I'll be right back. Got all the pleats pinned so that they're in the right places and I, they're going to be one and a half inches long and seven inches up from the bottom so I'm going to just go to the machine and I'm going to write it run a straight stitch from one pin to the other back stitching in the top and the bottom at the beginning and the end I'm going to do each one of them that way and then I'll decide if I want to go to the front and do any top stitching. I might, we'll see. All right, let's go to the machine.
Okay, I think we're going to add these. We're, I'm going to recut the sleeves and I'm going to add them as little sleeve caps. So, yep, yeah, let's go to the table. Okay, so I cut this off the top of the sleeve and shortened the sleeves so there'll be more of a little sleeve cap. And actually I can use the bottom of this to um, bind and finish off the bottom part of the armhole. So let's go over to the sewing machine and get that done. And then I think we might be finished. That was quick. All right, hang on. We'll be back. This is what it looks like after. It's cute, I like it. So quick, simple, easy changes. If I can do it, you can do it. Give it a shot. Let me know if you do, because I'd love to see what you do. There is a few upcycling clothing video channels out there. That's all they do. I'll include one of my favorites down below. She doesn't even use any patterns. And if you try this, please tag me and let me know what you do. Above all, go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.